There's about a dozen studies now looking at the personality predictors of left-wing authoritarianism. And so from 19, from the end of World War II till 2016, social psychologists in particular, and that's a rather dismal discipline, denied the existence of left-wing authoritarianism outright. It was only a right-wing phenomenon, apparently. You know, I mean, Stalin and Mao notwithstanding. But it started to switch a bit in 2016. We did a study in my lab, first of all, showing that left-wing authoritarianism was a coherent, you could identify a coherent set of beliefs statistically that were associated with so-called progressive causes allied with the willingness to impose them using force, fear, force, and compulsion. So that's not a bad definition of left-wing authoritarianism. But then a, a number of other studies have come out, and the most interesting ones concentrate on what's known as the dark tetrad. And the dark tetrad is a group of personality traits that were too evil to make it into the standard personality models. They were excluded by fiat to begin with. Um, manipulativeness, that's Machiavellianism. Psychopathy, which is predatory parasitism. Narcissism, that was the original dark tet triad. But that wasn't bad enough, so the psychologists had to add sadism to it to fill in the last quadrant. And the correlation between dark tetrad personality traits and left-wing authoritarianism is so high that it isn't obvious that they're distinguishable. 